How do you improve data literacy? Data literacy is one of the most important skills today. We now live in a world that's fueled by data and organizations that have people with the skills to extract insights from this data and use it tend to perform much better and definitely are outperforming competitors who don't. So when I work with clients, we very often realize that data literacy needs to be improved in their organization. And there are lots of different ways you can do this. You can obviously simply try to hire someone in from the outside world and say, okay, we are hiring great data scientists. And then the problem is that firstly, they're very expensive and they're very often creating a bottleneck where all the analysis needs to go through these few people that have those skills. What you want to do is you want to broaden this out. You want to give everyone in your organization an ability to use data by themselves to inform decision making. But there are a few barriers to all of this that need to be addressed. Usually companies think, okay, as long as I have the data and I have technology in place to give people access to the data, this is all I need. That's not the case because I think culture is a really important inhibitor in all of this. If you don't have the culture in your organization that actually allows people to use the data, come to conclusions and make decisions by themselves, this is all not going to happen. So we need to build this trust and we need to delegate authority in the organization to people so they can actually use the data and make informed decisions. So for me, this has to start at the top. There has to be leadership that is open for people to use data. If you have a command and control environment, this will not work and you might as well not invest into data literacy. The second thing is that we then need to have data and data is vitally important for organizations. There has now become one of the most important and most valuable business assets. But we need to have the right data of the right quality in place so people can actually use it. And this is where trust comes in. So people in the organization need to trust that the data they're given, the data they're analyzing and using is actually of the right quality and, and, and so on. So we need to think about have we got the right data and then we need to think about technology as well because when it comes to technology we need to have a nice pretty front end so we need a, a, a dashboard tool or a data exploration tool that allows people to map the data visualize it understand it slice and dice dive into it but we need some technology in the background to store this data nicely and be able to process it and what I find in lots of organizations is that data sits in silos. So they might have a really good HR data system where they have a little silo where all the HR data sits and then a nice little front end. Then they have something similar for marketing, something similar for operations. And in order to make this really work in organizations, we need to have an integrated data layer somewhere so technology that brings it together or at least a front end that can take data from all the different data sources and analyze it so you get some really interesting insights when it then comes to improving the skills and the data literacy there are so many things you can do today now we now live in a world where we have MOOCs these massive online courses that are available that we can sign up for. So most universities now offer data science and data literacy courses that you can even take for free. And most organizations, they don't have to worry about actually, do you need a certificate in the end? It's more important that you have the skills in the organization. So lots of those courses are available for free. And on my website, I have a list of all the good courses that you now, you now can take. Um, the other thing is that we can partner with others. So organizations often partner with consulting companies. What I think is there's a danger that we simply outsource all our data science and analytics uh, needs to a, an external consulting partner. What you want is you want to develop hybrid teams with a, a view of transferring knowledge from the external to the in, inside of the organization. So you have hybrid teams where they work together, where some external data science expertise can be brought into the organization. Also partnering with universities is a really good idea because universities usually have the talent to analyze data. They are always on the lookout for good data. So if you have a specific piece of information and again, develop these hybrid teams to work with them. 
Key for me is though developing the insight in the talent within your organization because recruiting is expensive, outsourcing is expensive, and if you think data is your competitive advantage, then you should be focusing on developing your own people and their data skills. In order to do this, I think you need to have a few business functions or a few roles in your organization that can actually help provide a bit of hand holding. So when I did the data when I helped to develop the data strategy for Shell, for example, one of the job roles we created there was a data translator. So it's basically a role that sits between the business function and the data science teams to then help to bridge those conversations that, so they understand a bit about the data science, they also understand about the business, and they can facilitate those conversations. The other thing that we did in Shell is that, we, that they now create these regular data hackathons where people in the business can go and meet with the data science team and then say, I've got this pro business problem, how can, I ha how can data and analytics help me solve this? And um, Walmart, the, the world's largest retailer, they did something similar. And they realized simply giving people some skills and access to the data isn't good enough. We need to provide some more support. And they created data cafes. They're actually physical cafes in their headquarters, a bit like a Starbucks, where people walk in, there they can meet with data scientists, and they can ask them questions. If I have this business challenge, how can I use data? And again, you facilitate this. And for me, Investing in data science is probably one of the most important investments any business can make. But simply giving people a tool and the data is not enough. We need to invest equally into the culture and the skills in order to make this all happen. So hopefully that was useful. If you want to learn any more on any of those topics, head to my YouTube channel or go to my website where you can find hundreds of articles and videos.